Becoming a psychologist is really expensive. The average psychologist graduates with more than $100,000 in debt. While tuition makes up the biggest chunk, psychologists are further burdened by a number of costly requirements. Each year, 4,200 students pay around $2,500 in internship applications, travel, and lodging to match at an underpaid internship site. All psychologists must then take the EPPP licensing exam, with average costs of $1,000 in fees. This doesn't even include the cost of preparation and study materials. Altogether, graduate psychologists spend more than $22 million per year. These costs disproportionately burden psychologists from disadvantaged backgrounds. The Association of State and Provincial Psychology Boards, the organization that develops and manages the EPPP, wants to add the EPPP-2, a competency skills exam, as a requirement. Evaluating the clinical skills of a psychologist is a good thing, but we don't need another national exam to do it. Graduate psychologists receive detailed and formal feedback about clinical skills through their five years of school, internship, and postdoctoral trainings. And while medical students currently want to eliminate a similar exam, the ASPPB seeks to profit from it. The numbers do not lie. The ASPPB has seen their revenue double in the last two reported years. And although they play the nonprofit organization card, its CEO earns $10,000 every paycheck, a quarter million dollars in 2014. EPPP-2 is a poor value, has no proven safety benefits, and clinical skills are already thoroughly evaluated. The only benefits are for the pockets of the ASPPB. We are a national movement to end graduate psychologists' injustice. Thousands from across the country have already joined, but we need your help. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Together, we can end ASPPB's financial scheme.